Oh, you guys, I'm super pumped about this video because it is so raw and real. This is literally my Sunday afternoon. This is Angie in the real. Yes, I walk around the house in a beanie. So I put on normal clothes. I have my onesie on. I'm cleaning out my beauty room, which I am still organizing. I've got Grey's Anatomy going, some of the most dramatic episodes I have ever seen in my life. They've still got the hang of it. If you guys have watched the latest season on Netflix, please comment down below and let me know that I'm not alone in the fact that this show is still going and still one of the best shows ever. I loved it so much. Yes, tears were shed. So what I did today was really just sit down and organize everything in this room. So you can see me here just organizing stuff by categories. I put my face masks in some piles. I have all of my camera gear in some piles. And that's really what this room is, you guys. And I hope that you understand that. This room is my YouTube room. It is my filming room. So you can actually see the tripod behind me kind of in the corner of the room. That's a set of umbrella lights behind me. So often whenever I'm filming in that room, you can't see the lights. And my goal this week will be to show you guys the actual real behind the scenes. You can see me folding up a tripod here. That's what that room is used for. So I really want you guys to be able to see how I film my videos, what I use. And here's the deal. Only if you guys care, if you don't want to see that, then tell me. But if it, if that's something that you guys want to see, I saw a couple of comments of people saying, Hey, I want to know how you film these videos, what you use, what you do. Let me please know. And also you guys, speaking of comments, you guys, seriously, go enter the giveaway, the Huda beauty palette. That's what's going into that drawer. That is for one of my subscribers. That is the rose gold Huda beauty palette. I'm giving it away with a makeup organizer and a set of unicorn brushes. That is for you guys. It's set away in that drawer to stay there for one of my favorite humans ever. The giveaway is super simple. All you have to do is be subscribed and follow my Instagram channel, my Instagram page, this channel, my Instagram page super simple. So what I did today was really just throw out a bunch of excess makeup, a bunch of excess stuff, just junk. And I kept all of the things that I truly wanted to either put on display or use. That was it because I found like this room was becoming a catch all in my house. And so I, on this little ottoman, which is was a DIY, 100% DIY, I ordered these little end tables off of Amazon, and I painted them chalk, chalk blush pink, and I got these different pink books, and I added that pumpkin on top, which by the end of the video, I think I switched that to a pink pumpkin. And then you guys, I went in depth with my cleaning. Please let me know that I'm not the only one that does this, but when I clean. I clean in depth. So I used my brush egg, which I will link down below. I got off of Amazon. This little cuppy is from the disneystore.com. And I think it's like a kid's cup, but it fit my brush egg per perfectly. And so that's where that's going to be stored. But I went ahead and cleaned all my brushes, even my beauty blenders, my sponges, everything. I wanted a thorough clean. I am someone that when I clean a room, it needs to be like top to bottom inside the drawers, everything is organized because then I feel Zen AF. My husband is someone that it's like, if I can't see it, then it's clean. So you guys let me know which type of person you are. Cause he cleans rooms way faster than I do. Because then when I clean a room, every drawer gets emptied and it like has to be a depth clean. But I just feel like this makes me happier to my core. So I cleaned all my makeup brushes. I went through all of it. And I want to say that this brush egg thing worked really well. I want to find that brush cleaner, that electric blush cleaner. I don't know if you guys have seen it that will dry your brushes as well. I don't know if it's actually true. So I went ahead and started organizing my shelves as well. I used those apothecary jars to store some stuff. I started putting pictures into frames, which let's just be real. That's the only picture that I have in a frame. And I, I think our whole house, we're not those types of people that you will find our pictures all over our house. And I started organizing our lip gloss, my R, my lip glosses into categories. And I started organizing this shelving system. So that 
is actually a fake book, How to Be a Unicorn. It's a little storage box. I thought it was the cutest thing in the whole world. I got it from Home Sense. And same with the artwork, same with the apothecary jars, and same with the makeup sponges, all from homesense.com. Those letters are from Justice, which is, yes, the little teeny bopper store, which I'm obsessed with. So this brush set, you can get it on Amazon, believe it or not, super reasonable, but I thought the brushes were gorgeous as well as the case. So I just wanted to display them separately. So I'm taking out all of the brushes from that case because I hadn't done that yet. They're so pretty. I'm probably not going to use them if we're being real. I'm just going to put them on display, but that case, I'm probably just going to zip it up and use it as a backdrop on those shelves. But I just thought that these makeup brushes were so pretty. Usually the quality, my phone just dinged. Sorry, guys. Usually the quality of these brushes are not the best, so they're better for just displaying, but I just thought they were so mermaidy and so pretty. And so I'm going to use that shell as a backdrop and then that unicorn fan club cell phone case that had to happen. So this is what my shelves look like so far. You can see the shell back there as well as the brushes right in front of it and a couple little decorative plates, my Smoko the Unicorn cuppy that I shared with you guys in my organization video. A lot of the ornamental things that you guys see on plates, those are all lip glosses from Forever 21. The two shells that I'm playing with right now, um, the little pink stitch, I don't know her name. She is from the DisneyStore.com. You can see the frame that I was talking to you guys about earlier is up. All of my organization that I talked to you guys about in my how to organize your makeup video earlier this week is all in there, but this is really me just setting up the room and more so just being real that I wasn't done yet and I'm still going. I've been filming in that room and I just had a pile of all of these donut lip glosses, all these macaroon lip glosses, unicorn lip glosses just piled on the floor and I was like, I can't just keep cornering myself into this room and not organize it. So that was my task today was to clean it all up and set myself up properly. And I'm really happy with my goal. So the purpose of this video guys was really to inform you on what I've been up to, where I'm going to be, what I am doing, and hopefully give you a little bit of insight into how you can organize your own beauty room. If this video was helpful or if you want to hear more, make sure that you guys comment down below. I always appreciate the thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell so that you know every time that I upload a video this month because it's every single freaking day. I love you guys so much. Have a beautiful Sunday. I will see you tomorrow.